I heard in Tibetan Buddhism, the soul will remain in Bardo after death. In what form or manner is this entity after it detaches from the body at death perceives the physical reality? Mm. Yeah, I don't get that. Grammar is not so yeah. perfect. I mean, we can criticize that, but it, it's hard to understand exactly what's being asked there. Perceived? In what manner is it perceived? Or how, what manner does it perceive the physical reality? Um, well, first of all, I'm not a Tibetan Buddhist, so I'm not going to comment exactly, and it may not be the exact answer to the question. But um, I don't I don't actually think that Tibetan Buddhists believe in a soul. I'm not positive on that, but I, I would highly doubt it that um, the Bo Tibetan Buddhists do believe such a thing. What they believe is the being um, continues, or the existence it continues in what they call the bardo. Um, now maybe they do have the idea that there is a soul there. I'm sure some people do. Of course many Buddhists do have attachment to the soul until you become a sotapanna you still have the potential to cling to sakayaditi, cling to self. Um, but but the truth of what's going on there is there is experience. There is the arising and ceasing of seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, feeling, thinking. In Theravada Buddhism we might call that a ghost. Um, and I know in Tibetan Buddhism they say 49 days is the time that they stay in the bardo. I think in Theravada Buddhism we're not so clear on the 49 days, but it may be, um, maybe the truth is there's you know people have actually kind of verified this that after on the 50th day the ghost comes and says goodbye or something like that. But we would we would just say it's a ghost. The point is that it's not in between. It's not an antarabhava. Um, in an ultimate sense. It's not between existences. It is an existence in and of itself. If um, if the person if, if a person who dies, if the experience continues on locally, um, or, or even non locally, or even even remotely or, or, or in whatever location, without the arising of a of a coarse material body, um, we consider that to be a Baba in in and of itself. It's an existence. The being, the existence of the being has continued, and whether how long it lasts, it might last a short time, it might last a long time. Usually, I would say depending on the karma. If the person has done the karma to lead them to be a ghost for a long time, then they might stay in that in that uh, state for for longer than forty nine days. Um, but but. The Tibetans have interesting ideas about what that being perceives. Now, when they are getting ready to go on to a ne the next life, they will perceive all sorts of crazy stuff. They'll perceive, um, well, technically they'll perceive one of three things. They'll perceive the... Um, so uh, up until this point, they would perceive reality kind of like an angel. They, w they would perceive people maybe be flying around, kind of like floating around and they would see the people crying over their dead body and they'd be unable to communicate with these people or or they might go here or go there based on their their attachment to their past lives past life but then at the moment when they're going to move on one of three things will come to them and this of course can also come at the moment of of death in the body so without actually leaving the body a person can go directly apparently can go directly to heaven or hell or, or wherever based on the arising of three things. So whether it's in, well, still in the body or whether it's after having left the body, there will be one of three experiences. One, an experience or a remembrance of the karma that one has done. Um, I did a talk a while back. I should probably do a video. I don't know that I've ever done a video on the 12 types of karma, but um, there are four types that are, are, pro are uh, pertinent here. The there is karma that is um, niyata, the garu karma, the karma that is sure, 
um, after you've done this karma, that's what's going to lead to the rebirth. So if you've killed your father, killed your mother, killed an arahant, hurt a Buddha, um, or caused a schism in the Sangha, if you've done any of these things, then then that's what you, what's going to come to you. You're going to remember the karma, uh, or you're going to remember the uh, a symbol of the karma. So there's kama nimitta, then there's kama, kama nimitta. So a symbol of the kama. You might not remember the actual act, think of the actual act, but instead you'll think of something that symbolizes it. So if you killed someone, you'll you might have a, a symbol of a uh, you might see a knife or you might see blood or so on. If you've um, you know, done this, you, you'll see a, something that reminds you of it or, or that is symbolic of it. And or, or third, you might see gati nimitta. You might see an image of the way that you're going to go. So some people actually feel like they're flying up to heaven or they're um, taking a trip. You know, kids who were reborn, kids who remember their past lives, will say they remember traveling to the house that they were born in, and they're standing outside of this house, and suddenly, boom, they're they're born in the womb of the of, of the woman inside the house. Uh, this is called gati nimitta. So the person sees the 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 destination, or the, um, a vision, or a dream of the destination. So if it's um, if it's garu kama, it will be if you've done any really really bad deeds, it'll be one. It'll be based on this. If you um, if if you did something particularly potent at the moment of death, then you're more likely to remember. But you haven't done a garu kama, then you're likely to remember that. If, if there's nothing you've done particularly at the moment of death, and you haven't performed garu kama then you'll remember some karma that you did uh, repeatedly that was habitual, a chinna karma. Uh, something that, so if, if you were a thief and you stole, continue, you stole regularly, or if you were a murderer, a, a hunter, or a, a butcher, or so on, then this is what would come back to you, and you as, a, as one of these three things. Or the, the, one of these three things would be based on, on that, that karma. And if not, then it will be just some sort of karma that you perform, meaning some experience that had an effect on your mind that uh, caused you to uh, attach to it, like it or dislike it or so on, and so was this some sort of karma in the mental sense. So that's the last perception, that at that moment, and, and you know, ter uh, Tibetan Buddhism, as I understand, they, they talk about this as well, how there will be an image or a vision come up um, and you'll be attracted to that and if you're not mindful at that moment you'll get sucked into it and be reborn based on it so that's the the process now as far as the the, the existence up to that time well that's I said it's either the moment of death passing on or else at the moment of death there's an out-of-body experience like the bardo <clears throat> and then uh, eventual continuing on to the next life.